Hi guys, recently we've been asked by one of you to give you a go update. It's not so much a go update, but it's certainly up to date news about goats. Mm. This is the lovely Bungie. And uh, we've got a chronic case of goat bloat. She's in a lot of pain at the minute. Uh, mm. She's just had our magic potion of vegetable oil mixed with plenty of uh, baking soda. Mm. So she's had that. And uh, yeah, she's in a lot of pain. Imagine severe stomach cramps. So uh, it takes about 40 minutes for that to get to work. Uh, this condition is a killer. Uh, we've lost two goats to date uh, by this. First, mm. first time we didn't know mm. what it was. And uh, the second time we just didn't get, get there quick enough. Uh, the reason we popped her into a hammock is because you just can't let them lay down. That's all they want to do. Imagine you're super tired, you've been in pain for ages, mm. all you want to do is lay down. Um, but you don't want their stomach, their room and their first stomach to mm. shut down. Uh, it's pretty much game over then. Mm. If there's no improvement, mm. then uh, we go to uh, last resort, mm. which sounds pretty mm. grotesque, I must admit. Mm. But it does work in extreme cases. And it's a, a papaya stick, so a papaya branch, they're hollow in the middle. So you cut that off the plant and uh, cut the, uh, the leaves off the end and uh, oil the narrow end and insert it down yonder or up yonder and uh, massage deeply and it lets the, uh, the gas out. So it does work, it smells repulsive. Uh, mm -hmm. But we don't want to be subjecting her to that unless <laughs> unless we have to. So uh, I've been massaging her very, very deeply for about the last half an hour. Mm -hmm. If you just leave them to get onto it, honestly, mm -hmm. once they lay down, that's it. It's, it they, they tend not to get over it. Causes of this, um, overeating, eating something that they, they're not used to, uh, mm -hmm. changing milk. Uh, if they get hold of grain, something like that, a corn, dry corn, rice or anything like that, and they're not used to it or they overeat on that, and then, yeah, you can get a bad case of bloat. But it tends to be the kids that are more susceptible to it. Uh, Bungie is still on the milk, but not a lot. And uh, it's a mum's milk, and we haven't intervened there. So... Yeah, she's mm. a lovely goat, mm. but she she has got a huge appetite, and I, I think she's been overeating mm. while she's been out. Um, we've given the, the potion mm. about three or four minutes before I popped the camera on, and she's had a couple of good burps, so hopefully we're on the right track. If you're going to get into goat farming, or you've got goats and you've never had this, uh, the place you, you massage, follow the... Follow the ribs down till the end, and then it goes mm. nice and soft there. Just make sure that you you massage the stomachs there. I do both sides. A lot of people just say do the ruminant side, but I don't know. When you're that bloated, mm. I think it all helps. And when we when we massage deeply, um, when we use the papaya mm. stick, then yeah, when you push both mm. sides and push down, then uh, that helps release it. Mm. Right, I'm going to get busy, mm. ain't we, Bungie? Eh? Mm. Bless you. Beautiful mm. little girl. Well, it's not looking good, guys. So, um, after about 20 minutes or so, there was a little bit of uh, air movement in the stomach before it was starting to work, a couple of burps. Um, but the pain's increasing, so we uh, resorted to the papaya stick up the bum. Nothing's really come out. And um, yeah, she's getting very weak. Don't know whether she's just exhausted. Well, she is exhausted, but um, they normally go downhill quite rapidly um, if you don't get it quick enough. So we won't give up. The massages are getting harder, deeper. Um, hopefully they'll they'll turn it around. But mosquitoes are out in force tonight, so she's got a mozzie lotion on. Seems just lit a mosquito stick. Yeah. We'll get as comfy as we can. It could be a long old night. The joys of goat farming, eh? After a long day on the farm, Toon just about to start cooking dinner and we're trying to save a goat at the same time.
I know a lot of you said over the last year or two we're living your dream, but it's not all uh, it's not all great, is it, Tone? No. Come on, girl. Keep fighting. We won't give up on you. <laughs> what a beautiful morning. 6am. I need to get my backside out to the goat house on the island. It got to the point last night where it was very late and uh, all three of us were shattered to myself and uh, Bungie and she, she wasn't fixed it was a bit of an improvement uh, but the problem is when a goat gets so so tired and they're a young goat as well and they're not used to being away from the mum sometimes they're crying for the mum so although she was in pain and she was tired it could have been a little bit of that as well so we couldn't stay up till this morning so we thought right we'll uh, bring her back to the goat house and put her in a room with her mum blackjack uh, we did that she laid straight down which i know is not what you're looking for with a goat bloke uh, but she seemed comfy uh, she did cry a bit which is a bit of a concern um, but then she got up and she started walking around in the room, which was a surprise. Oi. So, it's that time where it's uh, you're filled with dread. Let me put my shrimp bucket down. Yeah, so I'm just going to go and um, find out. It's not, it's not particularly a nice time. And uh, Toon, Toon hates it, so I thought, right, I'll get up and I'll do it before she even knows. With goat blow, it's it's quite frustrating because, generally speaking, there's there's nothing wrong with your animal. You know, she's a good, healthy, strong girl. You know, she's packing on the weight, and um, we've never had any issue with her. Whereas, you know, if you could you could understand if you've got a a sick goat that's continually sick and weak. You know, just not not a sort of strong enough animal that you you really want in the herd. So it's a, it's a frustration if they don't make it. So let's see. I do not like this bit at all. But we do promise to show you the uh, ups and the downs, don't we, Sam, mate? Eh? You look all right. Doris, that is one KO goat. All right, all right. Can leave this open they can come out when they want it's a bit early for them right then fingers crossed guys well, i can see blackjack oh fucking hell well there you go go update it's hard guys, I tell you, it is hard. Nothing wrong with her at all. As well as it being very sad of course, it's incredibly frustrating. Bungie was a perfectly healthy, nice sized, strong goat. The sort of the sort of doe that we want ideally for our for our herd. So to lose one of the, well, one of the very best ones that we've we've had born on the farm is, uh, it's quite a blow that is. But not only have you got the emotional side of things and, you know, missing out on a good go, you, you've got the financial impact as well. I mean, it is hard enough as it is at the moment with the current lockdown situation with with goat farming the, the meat price is incredibly stable and, it, and it's just generally always going up and there's a there's a worldwide shortage of goat meat i've done a blog on on this uh, on our website i'll put a link to that below 
Uh, but there's also a shortage in Thailand. People think that people that just don't eat goat in Thailand. Uh, there's a shortage in Thailand and there's a shortage for um, export. But with the lockdown, they can't shift the goats. So uh, the meat men that come to get your goats to export, they just don't come. They can't come. They can't get them out of the country. So uh, we got some we got some bucklings almost ready to go. Thankfully, almost. Um, but at the moment, when we called him and said, oh, it's going to be like three or four weeks yet, mate, and then we've got a load for you. He said, don't worry, and hope the lockdown um, passes before then, he said, because I can't come and get them. Well, I can come and get them, but I can't shift them. So you'll see on, um, I know a few of you are into your goat farming or you're looking into it, uh, there's a lot of goats for sale at the moment. This happened the last time um, situation came to this. Uh, a lot, a lot of cheap goats, people just, just binning it off. Uh, but as soon as uh, the restrictions lifted, um, the prices bounced right back and we were getting more than we did before. So hopefully they won't take too long this time. Um, but yeah, it is a, it's not a bum twitch moment, but it is frustrating. There you go. As requested, a goat update video. Probably not the sort of update that we all wanted to see, but never mind. That is a, that's goat farming, guys, as a, a lot of you have kept saying. And here we do get a bit more hardened to it each time, but it's still not, not a nice experience. Hope you're all well and good, and uh, stay safe. I'm now going to feed my baby snakehead fish and uh, put the kettle on for the missus and uh, give her the news.